The Igbo people are one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa. In the Igbo culture, the Igbo people celebrate lots of different types of festivals. So if you would like to know more, grab your drink or water. I preach for water because water is live and let's get into it. Welcome back to Ujumwa channel. Today I am going to share the four most popular festivals celebrated in Igbo land with you. At the end of this video, if you like it, don't forget to touch the like button and share. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, subscribe and join this family where I share everything about the Igbo cultural heritage. Like I said before, Igbo people have different festivals. The first one I'm going to be treating with you today is a celebration of the royal known as the Ofala festival. This is official cultural outing of the king and the members of the cabinet in the year. The Ofala festival is an annual celebration within the tribes of Onicha, Newi, Agreli and Opo. The festival serves as rite of renewal of the king which is known as Eze or Obi in Igbo land or language. The festival mark as the end of the period of the retreat when the Obi remains incommunicado or undergoes spiritual purification for the good of the community. At the end of the week long retreat, the Obi himself emerged during the Ofara to bless his subjects and say prayers for the community. Ofara is celebrated annually beginning from the coronation day till, the, till he, the Obi himself, passes on. And that day usually mark as the last offerer for whoever is then the OV. During this festive, there is lots of different cultural dances, merriment, entertainments with the whole colorful cultural dress code of Igbo culture. Offerer festive is one beautiful colorful event in Igbo land. Let's go to the next one. And the next one is the New Yam Festival known as Iwaji or Iri Joho, depending on the dialect. Like I've previously mentioned in one of my Igbo language video, that in the language of Igbo, we have different dialects. But at the end of the day, it all means the same. So if you see any Igbo person from another tribe or from the tribe where I come from, and that's what I always use on my channel, every dialect you you see in Igbo language means the same thing. So in the New Yam festival, it's an annual cultural festival by the Igbo people held at the end of the rainy season in the early August. The celebration is very cultural based occasion that brings communities together. Yams are the first crop to be harvested and are the most important crop of the region. August or September, October are the three special months in Igbo cultural calendar. Each year, thousands of Igbo sons and daughters troop out in mass to celebrate the annual New Young Festival. This age-long festival, which is as old as Igbo culture itself, is usually held between August and October with the date determined by each communities. The aim of the new yam festival is to officially present the newly harvested yam to the god and the ancestor of the land. The festival is always an event to thank God and sustaining the life of the farmers, the indigenous of the land and the farm product itself. Through a successful planting season, the new yam festival is indeed a colorful event that is fast becoming a major tourist attraction and it is festive that is celebrated throughout Igbo land. And it's usually accompanied by cultural music, dance, wrestling, masquerade, and all manner of entertainment that gives it that excitement. Every year, the Igbos like to troop back to their you know, home of origin to celebrate New Year. I remember back in the days when my parents always you know, <laughs> get everyone in the family 
chuck everyone inside the bus and we head down to the village. During this New Year festive, there's usually a family gathering known as the Omona meeting or the Omada meeting and it's usually a period where families, communities come to discuss the, you know, maybe problems in the community or something on a kind of innovation or any other thing that can build and, you know, build the community and also to socialize with people of the you know the community or the land that lives in various different cities so at the end of the day the new Year festive it's also a festive that brings evil community together during this period of the year let's go to the third one and the third one is ewa aqua festival Iwakwa festival is one of the most beautiful Igbo festives which is being celebrated every three years interval. The Iwakwa festive is a cultural heritage of the people. This is one of the beautiful cultures that has refused to die despite the claim of the Christianity which has wiped all the beautiful cultures. It is also attracted so many tourists both from within and outside Igbo land. The Iwakwa festive is a ceremony which young men who have come of age are being initiated into manhood and given the opportunity to speak or make their own contribution to the social, cultural and political affair of the community. In this stage of their life, they can now sit with the elders, wine, dine, discuss issues as it affects the community and subjects of solution. It's usually not a big event, but also have cultural music and dance display of different kind and brings all excitement. So let's go to the fourth one, which is the last one for this video, but not the least because the, in Igbo land, we have lots of it. We have lots of different festivities from different tribes, communities, and, descended, and different, you know, different states of the, of the Igbo, Igbo people. So, but I'm just going to treat just this four because of the time limits on this video. So we're going to do the last one. We cannot fit in everything because the time will not permit us to fit in all the festive. But they're all in the art, in the public domain there, where you can research and know some of this cultural or festival celebrated in Igbo land. So let's talk about the fourth one. And the fourth one is Igbo Aho Festival. You can also say this Iguaho is like the normal New Year celebration that everyone do in different countries of this world. The Iguaho festive is one of the most colorful and celebrated festive in Igbo land, especially in Umu Eri tribe. Umu Eri tribe is also a very important tribe where it is alleged that the Igbos migrated from originated from, come from, whichever way you want to put it. So Igbo people, when it comes to prophetic work by the gods back in the days, is a serious affair. No one wants to go against the god or against what the prophet says. In Igbo land back in the days, whatever the prophetic words say is what the kings or the obese and the aces are going to walk towards. The farmers and all the community comes together to walk according to the prophetic word by the prophecy of that season. Although today we are not, the Igbos are not practicing all this because obviously Christianity have turned to take over some of these places in Igbo culture. But on this video, we are treating this just to let you know that Igbo culture have this part of their festival where they have to celebrate the year with a prophetic utterance, prophetic um, predictions to run the season or the year just like you do your normal or today's new year where you celebrate and you know do new um you know you say the new things you want to you want you want to do for the year you make a new clutch for yourself you may made a new thing, make a new plan for yourself and you you know prepare yourself for the new year so back in the days evil people the way they celebrate their new year is by running to the prophet the prophets the the priest who will give the prophetic word and prediction of how the season of the year will go and you see them back in the days walking according to what the pre the priest have prophesied so but today all of this is um, a kind of not really like walking or 
uh, practice in Ibuman because of Christianity and obvious technology coming to, you know, reap or steal some of this. So on that note, I'm going to stop here and I hope you've learned something. I cannot do a lot because of the time frame on the YouTube or in this video. But in Ibuman, they have a lot of fasting. You can research for yourself as well and see what I'm saying. So I'm going to leave you here today. If you like this video, please remember to touch the like button and share with friends. And if you're seeing this channel for the first time, subscribe, be part of this family where we treat everything about the evil, evil culture, their life, and sometimes just chat away with some of the trending thing in evil land. So I'm going to leave you here today and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and remain blessed. Bye.